in this video i would like to tell about the deeper net that is a deep convolutional neural network framework for detecting depression using eeg hmm. now we are going to see about the overview of our process depression is a common reason for an increasing suicide cases worldwide thus to mitigate the effects of depression accurate diagnosis and treatment are needed and eeg is an instrument used to measure and record the brain's electrical activities therefore the study proposes a deep learning based convolutional neural network called deep care net for our process so it is classifying the eeg data of depressed and normal subjects the proposed system is developed the deep learning algorithm such as convolutional neural network uh, the system is developed the eeg emotional or depression data set and analyze the patient's emotion or depression is either positive negative or neutral by using the deep learning algorithm then experimental result shows that the some performance metrics such as confusion matrix accuracy precision recall and f1 score the main objective of our process is to classify or predict the depression by using the brain uh, by using the some input data set that is the data set contains the brain waves of our patients so n number of patient details are present in the data sets with the help of data set and deep learning algorithm we have to predict the uh, patients emotions or depressions depressions and to enhance the overall performance for our process when compared with existing we have to enhance the uh, results in our proposed system so this is the abstract of our process now we are going to see about the flow of our process first we have to take the data set in the data set as the input uh, in our process the data set name is EEG depression data set the data set was taken from data set repository like UCI guy uh, github uh, then kaggle and so on after that we have to implement the pre processing step in this step we have to uh, remove the unwanted data or unnecessary noise so in this step we have to handle missing values and drop unwanted columns if needed we have to encode the data uh, handle missing values means we uh, we have to check our input data set is any missing values is present in our data if it is present we have to replace the missing values by zeros or non values after that we have to uh, drop unwanted columns means if you it is not uh, in our data set uh, some attributes it is not required for our process uh, uh, so that uh, we can uh, drop the that columns after that we have to implement the data splitting module in this step we have to split the data into test and train the data splitting is the act of partitioning the our data set in a train part most of the data is stored in test part a smaller portion of the data will be stored the test and the splitting of the data is uh, based on uh, ratio based so ratio based only uh, the data set will be splitted into test and train uh, the test is used for predictive model and then the train is used for evaluate our model then we have to implement the classification algorithm in our process we have to implement deep learning algorithms such as convolutional neural network uh, by using the convolutional neural network we have to predict the uh, patient's depression is either positive negative or neutral uh, then finally uh, the performance metrics if uh, in this step we have uh, we are analyzing the confusion matrix accuracy precision recall and f1 score these performance metrics will estimate by using the convolutional neural network finally the result will be generated so this is the flow of our process and now we are going to see about the our demo part that we have to running our process after uh, after run completing after completion i will uh, explain the our output part one by one
so uh, this is the console part we are running our process in spider ide from anaconda navigator so still our process is on running yeah actually uh, our run our program is run so this is the output just i will explain the output part one by one so this is our data selection uh, these are uh, sample data are displayed in console part from our input data so this is the label so these are the brain waves so these are our input data the data set contains the n number of rows and uh, two five four nine columns then we have to uh, implement the pre-processing right first we have to check in missing values here all at these are the attribute names from our input data so all attributes contains zero so zero means there is a no missing values in our input data set then we have to handle the label encoding so the label encoding means we have to encode the data into integer or numeric forms so this is the negative neutral these are the string values that is the object just we have to encode these columns so after label encoding means the negative will convert 0 neutral is 1 then positive will convert to 2 so these uh, this is this means the label encoding then we have to implement the convolutional neural network so, so this is the result for convolutional neural network so this sum of the performance matrix the first one confusion matrix for cnn then accuracy precision and recall result will display uh, then uh, then we have to implement the cnn validation graph so this is the validation graph for our training and testing the data then finally this is the visualization for positive negative neutral uh, depression patients count in the form of visualization the zero means positive then neutral then negative so this is the our output part okay thank you